Tsionji. Well, the voyage in canoe Hokulea has been traveling through the main Hawaiian islands, meeting residents, students, and tourists, and will be doing so through next April. This is the Hawaii leg before the canoes embark on the international portion of a worldwide voyage. But this weekend marks a special event, a final exam, you might say, for seven young navigators who will guide the canoe in the future. <laughs> In the last two months, more than 14,000 people have greeted Hokulea in different island communities, learning more about the Polynesian Voyaging Society's worldwide voyage. That includes a meeting with UH laboratory students to show off some of the technology that will keep Hokulea and her escort canoe, Hiki Anambia, connected to Hawaii and the world. Lab school students tested out the technology, speaking with apprentice navigator Austin Kino, who's on Kauai. How do you make sure everything is ready for the voyage? That's a really good question. Um, we're always kind of told that you know 99% or 9% of our success is done in preparation um, before we even leave the dock. And kind of again on that rules, we all are given different responsibilities. Before the canoes can leave for the international portion of the worldwide voyage, the crew needs to be ready. This weekend, seven apprentice navigators will be teamed up with these men here, master navigators, for a final exam on their first deep sea voyage from Kauai to Nihoa Island in Papahanao Mokuakea. They've had lots of coastline experience and admit this will be a challenge. And it's going to be a wonderful learning experience for everybody on the crew, for the, for the, um, the full navigators to be looking at us, and for us young apprentice navigators to be looking to them and, and learning um, new tricks that maybe we haven't seen. To add to this challenge, Mother Nature has thrown in extremely light winds. From my observation, they're very nervous about the weather, but on my side, good. I think make it hard. That's why I say, even if they don't find it, um, if, if, if the conditions are perfect, they can do it. But I really like the idea that it's going to be really hard, that it's not going to be easy. Not going to be easy. Well, that voyage should take about 36 hours. Nainoa Thompson says finding Nihoa is good training for these young navigators in eventually finding Tahiti. To find out more about Hokulea's worldwide voyage, go to KITV.com. You'll find a link in our As Seen On section. I love the idea that they can communicate while on the sea with us here at home or it's anywhere be around, all the around the world. Which will be really interesting as they go to all these new places that some of us will never visit. And we're hoping for breezes for them. Yeah. <laughs>